Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out to you, Akim, out there. This is a quick sit down lesson uh, in the news on uh, this Thursday afternoon, December the 23rd, 2021. And this is from uh, RT News. Uh, this is recently on December the 23rd, 2021. And the highlight of this news article, and it says Japan and U.S. agree emergency military plan for Taiwan. And it says uh, <clears throat> Japan's self-defense forces, uh, the SDF, and the U and U.S. military have drafted a plan to establish an attack on the uh, Nancy Islands in the event of a Taiwan emergency, according to the Tokyo officials cited by the country's Kudo uh, Kai Odo news agency. So, you know, uh, bringing this uh, news article right here, uh, you know, it shows that, you know, you already have uh, tensions going on in the region over there, uh, over there in the South China Sea. And, you know, uh, and these are tensions that's continuing to, you know, build up. That's why you have the uh, Japan and the U.S. agrees to military plans because, um, you already have like uh, tensions over there. We have Japan military over there, United States military stations with their soldiers over there, along with China as well too, and Beijing as well too. So you know that's that uh, military buildup over there, and you know these are uh, uh, tensions in the Indo in the Indo-Pacific Ocean over there, you know, in the region over there, the South China Sea, you know, and, you know, this really, I wonder if, you know, China is going to respond to this uh, situation that matter with this uh, news just coming out right here, you know, about, uh, read it again for edification's sake, about uh, Japan and the U.S. agrees on emergency military plan for Taiwan, you know, and I'm bringing out a scripture uh, for of the uh, the uh, nations against nations, which is you know most common uh, scripture that I always bring out. This is the book of Mark, chapter thirteen, verse eight, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures to back up that uh, news article. And it says, uh, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be pestilence and troubles. And these are the beginning of sorrows, right? You know, you've seen the more of increase and rise of uh, these uh, nations against nations and these uh, kingdoms against kingdoms, you know. And these uh, increases of uh, earthquakes in diverse places. With the recent one on uh, 7.3 uh, earthquake over there in Indonesia. Then you had a 6.9 earthquake over there in California, the northern region. And then about two weeks ago, you had, uh, you had constantly earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Which is, you know, two days, you know. Uh, not one day, I meant to say, Salakia. Almost close to two days. And you had uh, over there in Oregon, the northwest region, you had constantly inconsistencies of, uh, you know, earthquakes uh, between one to two hours between one another in the high magnitude between 5.4 and 5.9 and close to 6.0 magnitude. And you've been seeing more increases of earthquakes. And just like over there in uh, southern uh, Greece, you had a 5.9 magnitude earthquake shaking over there. And you had one over there in Italy as well, too. You know, you got rocked by an earthquake. 
I believe it was a 5.2 or 5.3. If I remember, you know, it's showing increase of signs of that, you know. And the famine and the continued famines over there in countries like Ethiopia and places like Sudan, because you got current uh, up wars over there in Sudan as well, too. And many other places around the world as well, too. You know, these are uh, showing signs of the times that we are living in. And it's going to continue all the way on to 2022. And it might get even more worse and worse in that, you know, because these are perilous times. And these are signs of times that we are, you know, currently uh, living in, you know. So, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out a little quick sit down lesson for this uh, Thursday afternoon. December the 23rd, 2021, in the news for Thursday afternoon. And as I uh, brought out this report of this news article, you know, from RT News about Japan and U.S. agreeing on emergency military plan. So, you know, we got continuing tensions are starting to rise and build up over there. It had uh, settled down, you know, for a little bit. And now it's starting to increase and to rise again and that goes back into the book of mark 13 and 8 and the precept to uh mark 24 and 6 through all the way into 7 in the book of matthews you know of the uh continuing increase of uh the nations to rise against nations and the build up of the nations against nations and kingdom against kingdoms as well too and it's a cre uh, cre increasing and intensifying with so with that, I hope this was edifying. This little quick sit down lesson. Hope it was edifying for the audience out there. And first and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.